The Polestar 2 doesn't have a start button. You press the brake, choose drive or reverse, and then you move. When finished, exit the building and move on. Although it may be a little unsettling, this is a typical experience with new EVs. Additionally, it prevents you from leaving the car running while you go out to get anything, saving electricity. This is the Polestar 2, a fully functional production vehicle created to work tirelessly to make Polestar a major player in the EV scene. Right now it's aiming after the Tesla Model 3, which is the largest target of them all. Formerly the racing division of Volvo, Polestar has evolved into a standalone electric subsidiary that is jointly controlled by Volvo and its Chinese parent company, Geely. It produces cars in China for international distribution. This is where it gets serious despite the fact that its first homegrown creation, a limited edition headline grabber, was the stunning 140,000 pounds Polestar 1. What role of long range dual motor? The top tier long range dual motor variant has electric motors on the front and rear axles and has a range of up to 301 miles. Even though it weighs 2.1 tons, the automobile has just over 400 bhp distributed 50 50 front to rear, making it quick. This is being offered for £49,550. A new software update also makes it possible for you to spend an additional £5,000 on Polestar's performance pack, which increases power to 469 horsepower and reduces the time from 0 to 60 miles per hour to an amazing 4.4 seconds. Yikes! It leverages its height to create space for the water-cooled battery pack, which is underneath the cabin, as well as to provide a more commanding view of the road than a typical saloon. Why Tesla Model 4 is similar Now that a similar Tesla Model 3 long range is good for an additional 60 miles of claimed endurance, some people may decide that the discussion is over, but we won't get too mirrored in Tesla tit-for-tat at this point. Polestar is establishing itself in the market and wants to operate independently. Polestar's USPs, according to CEO Thomas Ingenlath, himself a former design boss at Volvo, will be the car's completeness, build quality, and ownership experience, not its quick 0 to 60 mile per hour performances. He acknowledges that there would be a high learning curve, but argues that Polestar has only been active in the EV industry for a year or two. The idea that each automobile must carry around the weight and expenses of a 300 plus mile range will soon appear as silly in his opinion, as a car lugging around a second engine as a redundancy measure. Now that the world is warming up to electric cars, you know, in case. Polestar seeks to produce enticing and quick electric vehicles, but it does so with scandy common sense, and the Swedish sense of style in terms of design. Job is done. This is a fantastic looking computer, in metal, sharp, fresh and clean cut, laden with presents, but gloriously uncluttered with artificial vents or dummy aero nonsense. Although it is enough Different from the Volvo, S60 to avoid being fake, it looks like the automobile the future promised. You'll want one of them after you see one whoosh by. The dual motor Polestar 2's 78 kilowatt hour battery pack is shared by the single motor Polestar 2, which powers the four front door wheels with 231 horsepower and 243 pound feet of torque. The single motor 2's EPA estimated range of 270 miles is almost identical to the rear wheel drive Tesla Model 3's range of 272 miles. The Polestar 2 can take DC fast charging at rates up to 150 kilowatts when it comes time to recharge, which enables an 80% charge to be completed in roughly 40 minutes. I went from 38% to 90% on my level 2 home charger in around 4 hours. Although there are no driving modes on the Polestar 2, you can customize several parts of the experience via a menu on the 11-inch central screen. Adjustments can be made to the steering weight, brake regeneration force, and idle creep level. I prefer the heaviest steering, the most region, and the creep off. This means that I can stop completely by using the brake regeneration while driving successfully with just one pedal. Driving this method is enjoyable, and I enjoy seeing my projected range grows as I go downhill. The Polestar 2 is exciting to drive, even with the standard single motor configuration. With all that rapid electric torque, it definitely feels faster than the 7 seconds that Polestar claims to take to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour. Even with the 19 inch wheels and all season tires on my base car, this is still not a corner carver. Spend the $5,000 performance pack, which includes Olin's shocks, Brembo front brakes, 20 inch wheels, summer tires, and woohoo! Gold seat belts if you want to have more fun. The Pilot and Plus packages, which cost $3,200 and $4,000 respectively, provide further choices. Driver assistance features, including adaptive cruise control with lane keeping and blind spot monitoring, are available with Pilot. A glass roof, a wireless charging pad, 
and a Harman Kardon sound system are added to the Plus Pack. It is strange that Polestar, a Volvo subsidiary, does not come with these driving aids as standard. Even the cheap Toyota Corolla comes with adaptive cruise control as standard. Both vehicle cross-traffic warning and blind spot monitoring are absent from my Polestar 2 test vehicle. You'd assume Polestar would uphold the same values given Polestar's superior reputation for its standard safety equipment as compared to Volvo's. The vegan WeaveTech inside of the Polestar 2 is a standard feature of the Plus Pack. It looks and feels to me like I'm sitting inside a neoprene scuba suit. Despite the fact that many roadshow editors adore this outfit and appreciate its simple approach, or perhaps I'm donning a polyester double-knit house dress. Each to their own, but I would much rather wear conventional clothing. Regardless of the upholstery, the two's cabin has its fair share of problems. One cup holder is visible while the other is concealed in the small center console. Smaller goods can't be stored very well either. Fortunately, the seat heaters work fantastically, and the plus option adds heated rear seats as well. Additionally, there is a convenient pass-through from the back bench to the trunk, and the Polestar's lift-back construction makes it practical and adaptable. The starting price for the 2022 Polestar 2 single motor is $47,200, plus a $1,300 destination fee. My ideal as-tested price would be $50,400 after I added the pilot pack to acquire all the aforementioned driver-assisted technologies. That is a remarkably cheap cost for a high-end electric vehicle, despite some minor complaints. It's difficult to contest the value offered by a car this good. You should consider the 2023 Polestar 2 if you're looking for a high-end electric vehicle. This sporty hatchback sports an electric drivetrain that offers vivacious acceleration and a good driving range of about 270 miles on a single charge. There is enough room for a family of four and their luggage in the elegant and well-decorated interior. Additionally, the Polestar 2 has a user-friendly infotainment system and many standard safety features. Nevertheless, especially for models, with the optional performance pack, its ride is somewhat stiff. We advise against using this upgrade. A few significant modifications are made to the Polestar 2 for 2023. The dual-motor all-wheel drive model now has a range of 260 miles, up from 249, and when equipped with the performance package, its electric motors create 476 horsepower, up from 408. There is also a BST edition, 270 trim, which is only available for sale in the United States in 47 units. The 2023 Polestar 2 has one of the lowest starting prices in its class, with a basic MSRP of $48,400. The dual-motor all-wheel drive variant costs $51,900, and the BST Edition 270 costs $75,500. A wonderful way to save money at your nearby Polestar dealer is to check out our U.S. News Best Price program. Want to sell or trade in your present vehicle? Receive a cash offer right away that you may put forward the cost of your future vehicle. Your deductible, the amount of coverage you desire, and the kind of insurance you select will all affect how much it will cost to insure a Polestar 2. Your insurance prices may vary depending on a number of factors, including your age, gender, region, credit score, and driving history. To locate the right plan for you, consult our guide in auto insurance. Two variations of the 2023 Polestar 2 are available, single motor and dual motor. The Polestar 2 single motor, as its name suggests, has a single electric motor, 231 horsepower, that propels the front wheels. Two electric motors, one at the front and one at the back, give the dual motor versions all-wheel drive a combined 408 horsepower. A lithium-ion battery pack with a capacity of 78 kWh is present in both variants. Even though the single-motor version isn't very quick by EV standards, it's more than adequate for daily driving. Throttle response is quick, and the electric motor delivers power in a smooth, linear manner, making it easy to move the car off the line and around town. Seven seconds are needed to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour, and passing power is adequate at highway speeds. The inside of the Polestar 2 has a lot to recommend it. The inside trim is made up of various recycled materials that are still of excellent quality and help reduce the carbon footprint of the vehicle. It feels extremely solid and well-built. The cabin benefits from a few high-end carryover pieces from sister company Volvo, such as the steering wheel and certain controls, and the overall style is contemporary and minimalist but not quite to Tesla's degree stark. Overall, while not particularly vibrant, it's peaceful and comforting. Each internal surface is a different shade of gray.